So today I'm just going to talk about the P1448 um, error, the fan IMA fan failure code, which can lead to blown um, IMA 12 volt power fuses and obviously the code on the dash and no IMA um, cooling due to the fan failure. Now I posted a picture earlier which I'd taken from a, uh, a YouTube video which somebody had posted from the Far East which appears to show blown transistors, um, yeah, blown MOSFET in the drive section because the fan is a brushless three phase design and this is the um, CRZ fan here on the bench, the one I picked up yesterday, it's got a broken um, mounting so uh, I, I won't use this fan as is. Uh, you can see the module, I've taken the screws out just to uh, uh, show you what's what and I'll go through those in a minute. But what I do want to show you is that um, there are equivalent fans around and you don't necessarily have to replace the whole uh, unit. So for instance, so this is the CRZ one, let's move that out of the way. And uh, this is the HCH2 or HCH1 fan, I can't remember which one it is. Um, but you can see that this part of the module, the, the actually outlet design and the mounting is different, but this part and the actual fan impeller itself uh, is identical to the CRZ one. So for instance, if I take the, this is the CRZ one back again, so if I take the CRZ module out, you can see we have the, I'll move that out of the way, we have the uh, CRZ fan assembly. This is the bit that does all the work, obviously. So if I take the one out of the HCH2, and then we have them next to each other, you can see they're, they're the same. So I'll put the HCH2 one into the CRZ case, and you can see that the module fits into there. It also has the same uh, connector, so I don't see any reason uh, why you can't use an HCH2 or possibly the HCH1, I can't remember which one this is from. Um, you know, if it's got the same design back area like this and it looks identical to the CRZ one, no, I don't see any reason why that isn't completely interchangeable. They certainly look the same internally, because I'll show you the circuit boards in a minute. So that's certainly another option. You don't have to limit yourself to a CRZ fan. You can just uh, get an HCH2 one and take the innards out and transfer it to the uh, CRZ. So let's go back to the CRZ one, uh, whichever one it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I'll just put the CRZ one back in its uh, mounting. So there's the CRZ one back in. So obviously you can take the whole module out or we can take the back off. So if we take the back off, we get uh, this. So as I said, this is a three phase uh, module and there are three basically connections to the fan here. Now these are made by spot welding. Uh, so these are incredibly difficult to, get, difficult to get apart. You can't unsolder them. They can certainly be soldered back together once you've repaired the board or whatever if you need to. Um, but getting them apart was pretty tricky. What I did was I just prized them gently and then I got my really strong snips in between the two and cut through the spot weld basically. And that just freed up the tabs as you can uh, you can see there. So once you've done that, then the heat sink at the back here, back side here, that's glued to the plastic. But if you get a screwdriver down the side there, you can just lever that gently away. And there's one screw in the corner here. And then basically this whole unit comes out. So there we can see the motor. Um, uh, now I've actually measured the resistance between these and it's 80 milliohms between any of these three phases and that's obviously for a good motor. Um, it's really low resistance is that so it's going to be quite difficult to read without a reasonably qual good quality meter. But you know if the motor's blown then obviously that can be replaced. Uh, they just need one with obviously without blown windings or whatever. So we'll find out what the problem is. So going back to the board so we can see the board. We'll turn it over. And we can see the drive transistors here and uh, on the picture we posted earlier one of these was blown but it, as you can see it's just a screw attaching it to the heat sink these are just to220 devices uh, we've already posted a link about where you can possibly get these or they could be replaced with a higher spec ones so it'd just be a case of unsolding the failed device from the board and uh, going from there we'd have to hope that uh, it looks like he's got some resistors in the gates um, drives here, these resistors on this side, um, so they may well protect the drive circuit hopefully and it looks like there might be transistors as well involved in that. Um, there's obviously speed sensors going on as well. So it might be that it may be just the blown 
uh, transistor, or obviously it might be the blown motor, but obviously if you've got a blown transistor, you can measure the resistance of the motor. If the motor looks okay, uh, the resistance is correct, then you can just replace the power transistor and you probably will be good to go. And to put it back together, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It just all goes straight back in. Just gonna make sure you get those pins on the wrong, right side. So that's it, so it's not exactly difficult. And then you can just uh, pin that, clip those together and just solder those back together clean them up they are very tough um it's like a brass one of them's a brass i think and the other one's copper so it's not easy to drill either i did try drilling it initially but the actual spot weld is very hard so in the end i just cut through it cut it through uh, using my uh, very sharp uh, wire cutters um, so there we are so that's possibly fixing the p1448 uh, problem as you see we basically get um a new fan or a replacement fan and or replace the uh, circuit board or repair the circuit board I mean if you didn't want to repair the circuit board you could just swap the whole circuit board over from one to the other uh, certainly the HCH2 fan circuit board would just fit straight into there or you just take the whole module out like you saw earlier and just replace the whole module so that's where we are